Hello, everybody. Welcome to your micro former workout. We are going to get started here with some core. So make sure you are on one block spring. We're going to start with some core at the back, facing the front. Hands are going to be on the back, or sorry, knees are going to be on the back platform. Hands are going to be on the carriage. You're going to do one wheelbarrow, one crunch in combination. Ready? Three, two, let's do it. So hand shift forward, hand shift back without moving your hips, without lifting your butt up, elbows down, bring the elbows to the knees and cat crunch it. And then come out into that modified plank. Keep your hips and your butt still, walk up to the hands. Once you're up to the hands, shift your hands forward, shift your hands back, elbows down, and then round it up like a cat for that cat crunch. So you're just alternating a wheelbarrow and a crunch. Good guys, you got some time here. And we'll do this again, but the next time we do it, it'll be in a different direction. Beautiful, really rounding it up like a cat as you pull the elbows to the knees, come out, hands up, wheelbarrow. Good. Forty-five seconds, and we're going to come to the front for a little combination. It's a flying wheelbarrow bear, and then we'll do the same thing on the elbows. You got it. Thirty seconds. At the front, you can stay on one black, or you can go zero springs if you want to make it harder. Up to you. Hands on the front platform, toes on the carriage. Good. We're there in four. Three, two. Let's do it, guys. So come to the front. Hands on your front platform, toes on the carriage. You're going to shift your shoulders back, shift your shoulders forward there, and then do the same thing on the elbows. Ready? Hit it. So it's a flying wheelbarrow. Shift back, shift forward. Once you've shifted forward, you bend your knees in, kick your legs out, drop down to the elbows, same thing. Shift the shoulders back, shift the shoulders forward, bend the knees in. Kick the legs out and then walk up to the hands. Same thing again on the hands. Shift back, shift forward, bend the knees in. Good, kick the legs out. Elbows down, same thing. Lovely. Let's go 30 more seconds left here. And then we're going to do a wheelbarrow on your knees in combination with feet on the rail. Walk them down, walk them up. You'll see. We're there in 15. Knees down, hands up. Wheelbarrow in five. Good, good. Four, three, two, let's do it. So knees are down, hands are up. It's 30 seconds of a wheelbarrow. So let's just do it. Hinge back from just the shoulders. Hinge forward, keep that straight long line from your head to your knees. Belly button up and in. Good, now in 15 seconds, you're just gonna put your feet together on the rail. And all you're going to do is walk your right foot down to the floor, left foot down to the floor, right foot up to the rail, left foot up to the rail. Okay. We're there in three, two, let the carriage go. It's down, down, up, up to the rail. Down, down, hips still, up, up. Shoulders over wrists. You can go as fast or as slow as you want to go. 
Good, everybody. Butts down, hips still, 10 seconds. Knees drop back down. You go back to the wheelbarrow in five, four, three, two. Knees drop. Hinge back, pause. Hinge forward, yes. We'll do that again. Down, down, up, up. In 15. Good, everybody. In five, four, three, two, feet on the rail, shoulders over the wrists, down, down, up, up, switch. You can alternate the feet, whichever one goes down first, right? Good, button hips down, just a little up, up, down, down. 10 seconds, elbows come down. We're gonna do a saw. Knees are going to be together. Feet are going to be wide. It's going to look a little funky. You'll see. In three, two, knees down, elbows down. Now have your knees pinned together and your feet wide because you're going to do a saw right here for 15 seconds. And then what you're going to do is just place your feet on the ground. That's why they're wide. And you're just going to hold a wide elbow plank for 15. Ready, three, two, feet are down. All you gotta do is lift the knees because your feet were wide-ish. Your feet are on the floor. Just hold that elbow plank. And then what you're gonna do in five seconds is just bend your knees, bring them together, saw. In three, two, knees come together, saw. Yes. Good, everybody. In four, feet on the floor. Three, two, feet on the floor, lift the knees without lifting the butt, hold that elbow plank, shoulders over the elbows. Good. In four, knees drop back down. Three, two, knees drop back down, soft. Pull that belly button up and in. Good, feet are wide so that you're just ready to go for the floor. In four, Three, two, feet on the floor, lift the knees, hold. Good, one more round, guys. Then we're gonna go back to that flying wheelbarrow bear on the hands and elbows, but we're gonna be facing the back. In three, two, knees down, soft. One more time, you're in that elbow plank hold in 10. Nice, nice, in five. Four, three, two, feet down, lift the knees up, hold it. Good. That's it, in five, toes where your elbows are, hands where your knees were, reverse flywheel. Three, two, let's do it. So same combination we did earlier, now we're on the reverse. Feet could be on the floor or on the platform, it's completely up to you. You shift the hands forward, Shift the hands back, bend the knees in, kick the legs out, same thing on the elbows. Shift the elbows forward, shift the elbows back, bend the knees in, kick the legs out, walk up to the hands. Yes. Shift forward, shift back, Make sure you finish the shift before you start the bears. Good guys. In 30. You're gonna make sure that you're on one black, hands on the back platform, knees on the carriage. We're gonna go back to how we started with that reverse giant wheel crunch combo. In eight. In four, one black, three, two, let's do it guys. 
One black if you're not already there. Knees on the carriage, hands on the back platform. Ready, one wheel, one crunch, just like how we started, but now we're just facing the back. Hinge back, hinge forward, keep your hips and your butt down, elbows down, round it up. Look up at your belly button, take the knees out, look at your hands, and then walk up to the hands, same thing. You got some time here. Good, everybody. We're gonna get your right oblique done, and then we'll go into your right leg, okay? And then left oblique, left leg, and we'll do some arms at the end. Good, we're gonna start that right oblique at the front facing the back in a reverse crooked teaser. Your feet will be over to the left side of your front platform on the floor. Hands will be on the carriage. You'll be kind of crooked, but you're also gonna cross your right foot over your left foot on the floor. So it's not only a reverse, crooked fight to plank, but a teaser because of how your feet are positioned. Good, you have 30 seconds left with this. One black spring at the front or zero springs at the front harder. Right foot crosses over the left foot to the left side of your machine on the floor, hands on the carriage. Reverse crooked teaser. We're there in five, four, three, two. Awesome, guys. That was 11 minutes of core right there. Good job. So hands are going to be on the carriage, right foot over left foot to the left side of your front platform on the floor. It's a reverse crooked teaser. Ready, three? Two, feet are crossed on the floor, hands are on the carriage. You're just going to pipe the hips up and then extend it out. I'm on the sides of my machine, or sides of my feet rather. Shoulders are squared off to the back, even though I'm not only crooked, but I'm also with a crossed foot situation. Just a small pipe is all you need here. Good. 30 seconds, what you're gonna do is pick up your right front foot that's in front of your left foot. And you're just gonna pull your right knee to your left elbow only, and then place the foot right back down in front of the left foot. We're there in five. Just the right foot picks up. Four, three, Two, now just the right knee to the left elbow, put it down. Just the right knee to the left elbow, put the foot back down. Keep everything else still, good. Your right hand is gonna be where your feet are. Left foot on the floor, right foot up on the carriage. We've got a high side hand plank with a knee bend in four, three, Two, let's do it. So set yourself up in a high hand plank on the right. So my right hand is in line with my front platform, okay? And my left foot's gonna be on the floor, like this, like so. Right foot, side of the foot up on the carriage. I like zero springs for this, it's a little bit easier, okay? And what you're gonna do from here is just bend your right knee in and then kick your right foot out in front of your left foot. Staying in that side hand plank position. Really push down through that right hand. Good. Kick the right foot down in front of the left foot and then bend that right knee in towards your chest. Awesome. Good, we're gonna get you off those wrists. In about 30 seconds, elbows come down. Left knee stacks on top of the right knee. We're gonna do a twisted saw. 
We're there in 15. You got it in 10. Elbows on the front platform, left knee stacks on top of the right knee in four. Good guys, in three, two, let's do it. That one's fun. Elbows down, left knee on top of right knee, just a twisted saw. Ready guys, three, two, let's do it. So just the shoulder shift back, just the shoulder shift forward. You're gonna be here for 15. Then you're gonna turn your right fist to the left. Stay on your knees and just do a modified side plank pulse 15. Back to this 15, side plank pulse 15, ready? I know it's going fast. Right elbow down and just pulse the carriage in a little, out a little, getting a little crunch in that right waist. Good, both elbows back down, back to the saw in three, two, both elbows down, back to the saw. Good, real nice and slow. In five, right elbow down, left hand up, little pulse again. Four, three, two, right elbow down, left hand up, pulse the hip. Up a little, out a little, good. That's it. In four, hands up, toes up, dancing bear. Three, two, let's do it. Hands up, toes up, knees bend into the left elbow only. You're here for 15. Then make sure you got a strong grip with your right hand on that rail. You're gonna open up into a high side plank for 15. In three, two, careful, right hand down, open and hold. My right hand's on the rail, left hand up to the sky, hold it. Back to the dancing bear in three, two, careful, hand down, bend the knees into the left elbow, kick the legs out. Awesome, make sure you got a grounded right hand. You could even put it on the platform if you need. Mine's on the rail. One more side plank hold, guys, and we're in your right leg. In three, two, hold it. Woo, careful of the shoulder, good. Squeeze the hips forward. Zero springs for this next move. It's the only way it'll work. You've got a stationary lunge carriage kick combo. In three, two, let's do it. So zero springs. You're gonna line your carriage up in the center over the number one, number two area, okay? And now step your right foot out away from your machine on the floor. Left foot back on the carriage. You gotta kinda finagle yourself here, okay? Two bent knees, you come down. In three, two, let's do it. So left knee underneath of hip, right knee over right ankle. Come down into that stationary lunge. And now kick your left leg over to the left. Bend your left knee back in underneath of the hip. Try and keep that carriage still, stand it up. And you'll know if you need to move your right foot out or in, just make sure the knee's over the ankle, hold it down. Kick and push, left leg out, bend it in, stand it up. Again, you gotta be on zero springs for this to work. One black just feels a little awkward. And again, adjust your feet as needed. Beautiful. Try not to lock the right knee out at the top of that lunge. You guys have 30 seconds here. And then we're just gonna stationary lunge, do little dips. And then we'll take the left foot over to the right, like in a curtsy, and we'll do curtsy dips. And then back to the stationary lunge dips, and then the curtsy dips. Stationary lunge dip, curtsy dip. In four, meet me in that 90-90 for the dips. Three, two, now right here, you're just going down a little, up a little, down a little, up a little good. In eight, you swing your left foot all the way over to the right so you hit the, the platform, curtsy dip. In three, two, slide it all the way over. Now you're in a curtsy dip. Right toes still point straight ahead. Good, just a little dip. In four, left foot goes back directly behind you. Three, 
to use your abdominals, take the left foot directly behind you. Now dip it down here, lift it up here. Good. Back to the curtsy dips in five, four, three, two. Take it all the way over. Dip it down a little, up a little. Good, square those hips. Back to the normal dip, guys, in four, three, two, 90, 90. Dip it down a little, up a little, good. 10 seconds, back to the curtsy dips one more time. In five, four, three, two. Take that left foot all the way over to the right. Dip it down a little up. Good, we're gonna go back to full range of motion. Stationary lunge with a carriage kick in four, three, two. Back to the stationary lunge, down. Kick the left leg over the left. Bend the left knee in. Stand it up. Woo. Definitely building heat in that right leg. Let's go 15 more seconds here, then you're just gonna hold it down and just do the carriage kicks over to the left. Last 30 seconds of this lunge, then we're gonna go into an escalator stationary moonwalker. I know you're like, what? In three, two, now just the carriage kicks over to the left and then bend that left knee in, good. You can stay on zero springs for an extra challenge. Otherwise, one black. Right foot on the carriage, left foot on the front platform. Escalator lunge. Meet me at the top of your lunge because we're going to do it a little different today. In four. Good. In three, two, let's do it. So, escalator lunge. Right foot is going to be on the carriage left foot on the front platform. Now, what you're gonna do, guys, is you're gonna come down into a 90-90 stationary lunge first. Kick the back left leg out for a moonwalk. Keep it straight. Push down, come on up. Try not to come up all the way, though, because you need that 90-90, right? So down into 90-90. Moonwalk the left leg out. Push down through the right foot, come on up. This is really all we're doing here for the first set of our escalator lunge. That's right, I said first set, uh-oh. So you'll get the hang of it. Amazing, you got another 90 seconds here, 90-90. Kick the left leg out, push down through the right foot, come on up and out all the way. Ooh. Good. Now in 60 seconds, your right foot is gonna be on the front platform. Make sure you got space on the floor behind you. Cause all we're gonna do is like a side to side lunge land. We've done a variation of this before in different classes. Right leg will stay low and the back left foot will kind of hop to the right and to the left and you'll land into a wide lunge and then a curtsy lunge. In 30, right foot goes on the front platform, left foot on the floor, side to side, lunge tap for just a minute. In eight. In four, three, two, awesome. So right foot is carefully now on the front platform. You're gonna sit low on the right leg and now take that left foot, hop it over to the right into a curtsy, take it over to the left into a wide lunge. You're landing in a little lunge, right and left. See how my right knee stays still though? And the right leg, holo balance, stays low. Woo, that leg's burning. Good, hop over left, hop over right. I'm choosing to go a little slower here. Good. Really land in that lunge. Again, keep the front right knee frozen. Awesome, guys. Now we're gonna go back to escalator. 
but we're going to work with just full range. And we're going to play with that back left foot this time. In 15, right foot on the carriage, left foot on the back for the front platform. Just full range of motion escalator. In four, three, two, let's do it. So back left foot on the platform, front right foot on the carriage, all the way down, all the way up, ready, go. You're gonna go 30 seconds here. And then for 30 seconds, that back foot is gonna be on the floor. You won't be able to stand up as much as you would like to, that's the point. It's a deep pulse. And then we'll come back with that foot on the platform and then back with that foot on the ground. In four, left foot to the ground, but you wanna keep the heel high. In three, two, left foot to the ground, but keep the heel high all the way down. Bring the carriage to the platform, but look, you can't stand all the way up. Yes. 15 seconds, you put the left foot back on the platform. In five, four, three, two, left foot back on the platform, back to it. Down and up. Good guys, one more time with your left foot on the floor. In 10, then we'll do the side to side lunge tap thing again. Then we'll finish this right leg in a pistol squat. In three, two, left foot back behind you on the ground, keep the heel high, all the way down, come on up. 20 seconds, right foot goes on the front platform. Good. And your back left foot is just gonna tap and land right, tap and land left in those different lunges. We're there in three, two, wow, all right. Right foot solid on the platform, okay? Stay low, tap over to the left lunge, tap over the right lunge. Keep the right knee frozen and keep the right leg low. You can go fast, you can go slow, medium pace. Just find a pace where you feel like you can get the form. Good. 45 seconds, we're in a curtsy, or not a curtsy, excuse me, a pistol carriage kick combo. You got 30. You're gonna be over to the right side of your machine facing the back. I would be on zero springs for this. Good, right foot will be on the floor, left foot out on the carriage. It's a pistol squat, carriage kick combo. We're there in eight. Keep going in six, five, four, three, two, awesome. So I would be on zero springs right now if I were you, okay? You'll need to adjust that right foot and your left foot is needed. You gotta be intuitive about it, okay? But left foot is light out on the carriage however you need it. Sit down and back into a pistol squat on the right. Bend your left knee in, carriage kick. Kick the left leg out and then slide it up. Good, you won't be able to stand up as much as you would like. It might feel a little funky too, because one foot is up on something and the other foot is down. So your hips are gonna feel a little uneven. So try not to come up all the way. And then again, adjust your feet as needed. Maybe you gotta widen your stance. Maybe you need to narrow it out. Whatever you gotta do. Beautiful guys. Last move on that right leg. We're gonna go into your left oblique next. Give me 30 seconds of this combo, then we're just gonna hold it down for the carriage kicks. Really try to sit weight back into that pistol squat on the right. 
It's not going to be perfect knee over ankle, but you kind of want to aim for it. In 15, you sit down, you just give me these pistol squat carriage kicks. In 10. Good guys. Five, four, three, two, sit low, chest up, and now just the carriage kick in, carriage kick out. Good. Keep the zero springs, okay? Or one black, if that's what you did last time. We've got that reverse crooked teaser. Your feet are gonna be where they are now. Good transition. Hands on the carriage, left foot over right foot where your feet are. So not only are you crooked, but your feet are crossed. In three, two, let's do it. Woo. So hands on the carriage, feet to the right side, left foot over right foot, ready three, ready two, and hit it guys, it's a crooked reverse teaser. Square the shoulders, even though you're crooked and your feet are crossed. Good, and my feet aren't too far away to the right. Sides of my feet. Good, 30 seconds, and we're gonna pick the left foot up and just bring the left knee to the right elbow, right wrist. In 10. Good. Five, four, three, two. Now hold it out and bring the left knee to the right elbow. Put it back down. Left knee, right elbow. Put the foot in front of the right. Good. 20 seconds. Left hand goes where your feet are. I'll be facing away from you guys. Left foot will be on the carriage, right foot will be on the floor for that high side hand plank with that leg extension in three, two, let's do it. So I gotta grab a towel because I'm sweaty. Woo. Left hand's gonna be on the floor. Just come into a side plank, side hand plank first, okay? And then take the bottom left foot up onto the carriage, side of your left foot, and now, Bend the left knee up and in towards your chest. Kick it out. You can see I've got my left shoulder directly over my wrist. Beautiful. Try not to dump down into the left shoulder. So push down through the left hand to lift the right hip up. Really open it up. 30 seconds. You've got that twisted saw, side elbow plank pulse, twisted saw, side elbow plank pulse. 15 second intervals. Then we'll do that dancing bear side hand plank, dancing bear side hand plank. In 10, both elbows down, right knee stacks on top of the left knee. In five, four, three, two, twisted saw. Let's get you off those wrists. Ready? Right knee on top of left knee. Hit it. Just the shoulders shift back. Just the shoulders shift forward. Good. Now in 10 seconds, you're just going to turn your left fist to the right. Right hand up. Pulse a modified side plank. In three, two, left forearm turns. Right hand up and a pulse. Carriage comes in a little, carriage goes out a little. In four, both elbows down, saw. Three, two, both elbows down, back to the saw. Good, you're going back to the side elbow plank pulse on your knees in five. One more time. Four, three, two, left forearm turns, pulse it. We're coming up to hands and toes. 15 seconds of a dancing bear knees to the right. 15 seconds of a side hand plank. Three, two, let's do it. 
Careful with these transitions here. Ready? Careful. Knees to the right. Make sure your left hand is solid. Kick it out. Because when you open it up to that side plank, you want that left shoulder to be safe. In three, two, left hand down. Put the weight into the left hand. Open it up. Be careful. In four, back to the dancing bear. Three, two, back to the dancing bear. Knees to the right. Good. 10 seconds, you have one more side hand plank. Then we're in your left leg, everybody. In five, four, three, two, left hand stays down, right hand opens up. Good. Zero springs. I'm gonna face out the same way I did last time because it doesn't matter if you're on zero, right? Left foot forward in three, two, let's do it. Carriage over the number one, number two. Zero springs, remember? Left foot forward, right toes back on the carriage. You come down into your 90-90 carriage kick combo. Ready? Three, we'll balance. Two, let's go. Come down, kick your right leg out straight to the right. Bend your knee underneath of your hip. Keep the carriage still. Come up. Adjust your feet as needed. Step that left foot out as much as you need so that your left knee is over your ankle. I'm sweating, guys. Woo. Got 60 seconds of full range. Then we're just gonna do little stationary lunge dip pulses, curtsy dip pulse. Just go back and forth for about 90 seconds. In 30, meet me in the 90-90. You're just gonna do little versions of that stationary lunge. In eight, two bent knees, little dips in four, three, two bent knees, dip it down a little, up a little, good. Eight seconds, right foot goes all the way over to the left, hit the back platform, the front platform, wherever you are, dips. Three, two, take it all the way over to the left, and now curtsy, dip it down a little, up a little. Really pull your right hip forward, left hip back, Ground down through that big left toe. Back to the stationary pulse. In three, two, use your abdominals. Bring the right knee underneath of the hip. Dip it down a little, up a little. Down a little, up a little, good. Back to the curtsy dip in four, three, two, swing the right foot all the way over the left. Dip it down a little, up a little, good. One more time in four, right knee underneath of the hip. Three, two, right knee underneath of the hip. Dip it down a little, up a little, good. One more curtsy dip, guys, in four. Three, two, take the right foot over to the left. Dip it down, lift it up, good. You're gonna go back to full range with the whole thing in four. Three, good, two, swing it over center, all the way down, kick the right leg over to the right, bend the right knee in, stand it up. Good. 10 seconds, we'll hold it out, or hold it down rather, and we'll just do the carriage kicks. In four, Beautiful, three, two, hold it here. Left knee over left ankle. Now just the right leg over the right. Bend it in. Awesome, everybody. 
one block if you need to or stand zero springs for an extra challenge. You've got that escalator stationary moonwalker combo. Okay. Left foot on the carriage, right foot on the front platform. Meet me there in four. Good. In three, two, let's do it. So one block if you need to, or zero springs if you can. Left foot is going to be on the carriage, right foot back on the platform. Okay. Start with me first. Remember, you're going to come down into 90 90. Three, two, down into 90 90. Kick the right leg out straight. Push down through the left foot to come up. But try not to come up all the way because then you got to come down into the stationary lunge, right? And you can see for the stationary lunge, my right knee is a little forward of my hip. That feels best for my hip flexor. As long as the left knee's over the ankle, we're good. You got plenty of time here to get it. Good, less than 60 seconds, your left foot is gonna go on the front platform. We're gonna do that like side to side lunge, land, tap thing for a minute. And then we'll head back to this escalator. Give me 30 seconds. Beautiful guys, in 10, left foot on the front platform. Good, in five, four, three, two, carefully. Put your left foot nice and solid on that front platform. Stay low on the left side and then hop your right foot over to the left, land in the curtsy over to the right wide lunge. You can see my left leg is constantly low. Good, and I'm really landing in those lunges, not just tapping. Good. 45 seconds, we'll go back to the escalator. Medium pace, slow, fast, whatever you need here. Crossover, wide, crossover, wide. Awesome, in 20. Left foot on the carriage, right foot on the platform. We're gonna do the normal escalator, the low escalator, normal escalator, low escalator. In eight. In four, three, two, awesome. Left foot out on the carriage, right heel high. All the way down, all the way up, that's all you're doing. Ready? Hit it. You're gonna do 30 seconds here, and then 30 seconds with your right foot on the floor, which is a little harder. 30 seconds here, 30 seconds right foot on the floor. In four, three, to right foot on the floor, keep the heel high all the way down. Bring the carriage to the platform, but you won't be able to stand up as much as you would like to. Constant tension in the back of the left leg. Look at how high the right heel remains. Good, 15 seconds. Right foot goes back on the platform. Back to normal, in eight. In four. Three, two, carefully right foot up, all the way down. Push down through the left foot, come on up. 
Good. Ten seconds. One more time with that low escalator. And then we do that side to side tap lunge land thing. And then your pistol squat. In three, two, right foot back, heel high, careful. All the way down. Come on up. Left foot goes on the front platform. You got your side to side tap, lunge lands, whatever you want to call them. In eight. Then everybody in four, three, two. Wow. Left foot on that platform. Right foot goes side to side. Stay low in that left leg though. Ready? Solid left foot. Over to the right, wide lunge. Over to the left, curtsy. So it's wide lunge land, curtsy lunge land. Just stay low on the left side. Keep the left knee pretty frozen over the ankle. Amazing. You got that pistol squat carriage kick combo coming up in 30 seconds. Left foot over to the left of your machine on the floor. Right foot out on the carriage. Then we've got arms to finish, everybody. In 15. Good. You guys got eight. In four, three, two, amazing. So left foot out on the floor, wherever you need to really put it, scoot forward, scoot back, whatever. Light right toes on the carriage, adjust as needed. And now sit back into your pistol on the left. Bend the right knee in, carriage kick. Kick the right leg out and then come on up to right about here. Like I said, you'll feel a little funky because one foot is up higher than the other, that's normal. So just adjust the feet as needed and try not to stand up all the way. Feeling into that left quad, back of the left leg. Make sure your left toes on the floor are pointed straight ahead. Straight ahead. 60 seconds. Then we're just going to do the carriage kicks. Last 30 seconds of legs, then we're going to finish with some arms. Arms are fun today. They kind of involve your abs, too. In 30, just the carriage kicks, last 30 seconds of legs. You guys got 15. Just the carriage kicks in 10. Good, in five, four, three, two, sit low now. Left knee bends in, left leg kicks out, let's go. 30 seconds, one black, harder. Two black, easier. Over to the left side of your machine where you are now. Knees are going to be on the ground. Right hand out on the carriage rail closest to the springs. Left hand on the floor. We've got a one arm cobra, one arm wheel. In four, three, two, let's do it. I'm going to grab a mat for my knees. Knees are going to be on the ground. One black. Will be harder. Two black will be a little easier. Right hand on the edge of the rail closest to the springs. Left hand is in line with your right hand on the ground. You're in a wheelbarrow position. Hands start in line with each other. And now right straight arm goes out as you bend into a chaturanga on the left. And then push down through the left hand. Bring the right hand in to meet the left. Good. We're here for 40 seconds. And then your right hand is gonna go more in the center of the carriage. Stay on your knees 
or come up to your toes. I'm gonna stay on my knees. We're gonna do variable surface push-ups. So right hand will be up a little higher than the left, right? On your knees or on your toes, it's one minute. Then we'll come back to this one arm wheel, one arm cobra, back to the variable surface push-ups, then we'll go to the other side to finish. In eight, right hand more in the center of your carriage. In four, three, two, now right hand to the center of your carriage. Hands are in line, though the right hand is up higher than the left, variable surface push-ups. What I'm gonna do to make a compromise with myself is I'm gonna do 30 seconds like this on my knees, and then the last 30 on my toes. So you're kind of kicking that carriage out and holding it out as you go for some push-ups. In four, up on your toes if you can. In three, two, up on your toes if you can. If not, don't worry. Good. 25 seconds, knees come back down. Left hand stays where it is. Right heel of the hand moves up to the rail. One arm cobra, one arm wheel. In eight. Making sure, I know you can't really see my left arm when we do that chaturanga, but the left elbow comes in narrow. Three, two, knees down, right hand on the rail. Hips and butt stay down, kick the right arm, straight right arm out, bend into that left chaturanga, straighten it out, bring the right straight arm back in. Adjust as needed. Working the left tricep and the right lat. 30 seconds, we've got those variable surface push-ups on your knees for 30, on your toes if you can for 30. And then we'll finish on the other side. I know it's a lot of the wrists. Do your best with it. In 10, right hand more to the padding of your carriage. In five, four, three, two, right hand more to the padding of the carriage. Now kick the carriage out. Right hand is in line with the left, and the right hand is up higher than the left for variable surface push-up. Good, so we're kind of getting deeper in the chest on the right side. That's it, 10 seconds. I'm gonna try this on my toes. Stay on your knees if you need to. In four, three, two, up on your toes. Let's go. We're gonna do this same thing on the other side, guys, starting with that one arm wheel, one arm chaturanga, cobra. In 10, coming over to the other side. In five, good, four, three, two, amazing. Not easy, Whew. not an easy arm set. So knees on the floor to the right, left hand starts out, heel the hand on the rail. You can see me a little bit better on this side or just a different perspective. Left arm goes out, right elbow bends in, chaturanga. Push down through the right hand, bring that straight left arm back in. Notice how my hips and butt try to stay down, okay? So you're kind of working your abs as well. So 40 more seconds here. Then we've got the variable surface push-ups. In 10. Good, in five, four, three, two, bring your left hand to the padding on your knees, let's go. One hand up higher than the other, bend the elbows out wide, straighten. Try to keep the carriage in place. 15 seconds, I'm gonna try this on my toes. 
in 10. Five, four, three, two, up on your toes if you can, guys. Ready, hit it. One more set of each thing, then we're done. You bring your knees down in 15. One arm wheel, one arm chaturanga. In 10. Good. In five, four, three, two. Left heel, the hand on the rail. Right hand on the floor. Let's go. Bend into chaturanga on the right. Wheel on the left. Adjust your hands as needed. Amazing, 30 seconds, you've got your variable surface push-ups, 30 seconds on the knees, 30 seconds on the toes, we're done. That is where we finish today. In eight. On your knees first. In four. Three, two, left hand to the uh, fabric part of your carriage. Let's do it. Wide elbows. Push that carriage out with the left hand, fold it out so that it's in line with your right hand on the floor. Yes, 15 seconds, last 30 seconds of class. Up on your toes if you can. Good, we're there in five. Four, three, two, up on your toes, guys. Let's go. 30 seconds left of this class. You're done. You got 15. Good, guys. Finish it. Not easy, I know. Last eight, seven. Good, six, five, four, three, two. Woo. You did it, family. Awesome job. I will see you when I see you next. Take care.